Let's try out Scoop's Tall Tale. This is a new quest in BT6 and it's one of the, uh, well, Tales once a group of quests that are going to be giving a little bit more lore or tell an individual story. But this one seems a little bit harder than usual, at least from what I saw in the early access. I played through this one last week, but actually I don't exactly remember neither the story nor how I beat it. So I guess let's start with the, uh, this is a three part quest. So let's start with the first one. Oh, and by the way, the rewards on this one are actually really nice. It's a 003 dart, it's a 300 alchemist, a 0 003 ng but if you guys don't care about the insta monkeys there's a very nice cash reward of a thousand dollars which is a lot more than i guess almost all of the achievements that you can get and a bunch of grinding so getting this quest done is actually a good idea so let's start with the first one let's see uh let's let's start with the windswept meadow and let's see what is happening with this one once upon a time three monkeys from a small unnamed town were called upon a super monkey the super monkey knew that the balloons were preparing to attack and despite his impressive speed he would not be able to get in there so we have to stall for this one the three brave monkeys will need to take the chinooks and mounted defense in monkey meadow it was their duty okay let's go let's try out windswept meadow the first quest the Chinooks dropped them off just before the balloons arrived. They had limited resources but were expecting cash to arrive every few rounds. We must work as a team, the engineer monkey said to her friends. So the Chinooks can move us all to advantageous locations. Okay, so I kind of have an idea what's happening. So first off, when you use the Chinook ability, you cannot get cash. Even though they said cash was going to be coming in regularly, what they meant to say is that cash is going to be arriving just like that in our bank account and we're not going to be able to farm using the Chinooks. So let's just play start. These are not normal rounds, by the way. This isn't round one to round thirteen. These are these are special made rounds for, especially for this challenge. And that's what makes it kind of interesting. So let's move these guys, like here, I guess. I guess I want to defend this part of the track, and we can leak some lives, obviously. Now, the thing with these chinooks is that you cannot click them. See, I'm trying to click them, but nothing is happening. Oh, and let me actually have this guy on strong. We've got some cash going. So what are we upgrading? I mean, this is lead popping power. I think there were camos. So let me just get this thing. Can we afford? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's a 032 sharpshooter that we can afford, and we can keep moving these guys if we need to. And that's kind of, I think that's kind of a part of the quest, something that, that actually needs to be done in order to win this one. You guys can see that we have 14 lives, and the thing with the Chinook abilities is that we cannot gain cash from them, but we can gain lives. So let me use one of them and show you guys. There you go, so it's plus one life and we are back up to 15, so that's nice. The first waves were defeated, but there was a sense of foreboding. My crossbow isn't gonna cut it, the dark monkey said. Alchemist, I think it's time for a boost. It's kind of telling us what we should upgrade. And let me just get the Berserker boot. That's just enough cash, actually. Are these ones... Are these upgrades, like... Is there, like, an optimal way to beat this thing? Let's see. Okay, so a couple of... Oh, I thought they were gonna leak, but they're actually not gonna leak. Okay, let's see if we can. Yeah, there we go. So there was the AMD. I should probably actually move this NG out of the range of the Alchemist now that I think about this. So only the dart gets brute. I think the spot for the dart is... Maybe we could move it a little bit more towards the downside. But let's chill for now. I'm just going to move the NG, I guess, away from the Alchemist. So let's have the NG, like... Where do we want to have him? Like here? Yeah, that's that should be fine, I think. So let's fast forward. Have this... Oh yeah, the Alchemist is already on strong. I wanted to check that one. And let's see how we're going to do. So that was a ceramic balloon actually. Oh, a couple more ceramics and rainbows. Basically this... Should I upgrade to the sharpshooter? We got $2,000. I, I think I probably should actually. Or maybe we upgrade the alchemist for better uptime. I think I'm going to do this actually. And let's move this guy here so we don't leak. And actually... Yeah, you know what? Let me just use the chinook ability. Let's just get those lies back and not risk it. And let me move the dart over here. I think that's a little bit of a better spot. I'm not sure why I moved it there. But Camel Ceramics, it is, yeah, these are just not normal rounds, guys. This is, this is something else. Is there a Moab on this one, or am I, am I just not remembering it correctly? Soon it became apparent that this wouldn't be a walk in the park. There were still balloons incoming. With Moab sound away, I just said it, okay. The engineer checked her nail gun. Perhaps two will work, she muttered to herself. So that's a double gun upgrade. Do we need to get the double gun, or what? What's happening? Or well, maybe I ignore that. Do I just upgrade the strongest stimulant and just not care about the double gun? Because if there's a Moab incoming, I mean, what's that going to do? It's just going to stop the small balloons, I guess? Nah. You know what? I'm not going to listen to that one. I'm actually going to get a 40 to 0 Alchemist because we have the money. We have a little bit of leftover, so I'm just going to get the oversized nails, I think. And let's see how we're going to do. <laughs> I think this is better, actually. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I think buffing the sharpshooter is the better idea and just not worrying about the NG at all. So these Moabs, I think the Sharpshooter is absolutely gonna, especially with the Alchemist, is absolutely gonna be able to take care of everything by himself, but we might need to move it a little bit. So hopefully this is enough. I mean, it's kind of popping them. Can we check the difficulty? Yeah, it's medium. I wanted to see if it's easy because the Moabs are a little bit easier to pop on easy mode. But yeah, 
Oh, are we fine versus those yellows? I hope we are. Yeah, there we go. And this is the last wave, so... Let's, let's just be ready for... I guess when something leaks, we can immediately use a Chinook ability. So, like now, and restore the lives. So hopefully... Hopefully nothing leaks, actually, now that I think about this. Let me just try and move this guy. He's still in range, but I'm kind of scared to move. Oh my god, that's a, that's a lot of ceramics. Let's use the... Oh my god, no, no way. Wait, so... I guess we need to upgrade to the nail gun? Was she right? I'm actually gonna do that. So we've got 2000, 1.3k now. I guess what we should do is probably get these guys the sentries and I should probably move the NG to the back. So let's do that. Let's get the NG right here outside of the range of the alchemist. And let's actually move the dart over here. And then we're gonna move it towards the right side. So go like this and hopefully, you know, these small balloons are gonna get taken care of by the NG and then we're going to Let's move the dart here inside of the range of the alchemist. Wait, these guys blow back. Wait, maybe we can abuse that actually. Yeah, we can absolutely abuse that by, I guess, by giving a command to move. Let's just move on to another one. The first balloon attack has been thwarted, but the super monkey was still racing across the skies. More balloons were on their way, and the three brave monkeys knew their job wasn't finished. So, quest number two is going to be, oh, there's more text. An ancient cultural important spring was in danger and they didn't have much time. They would make this, their stand at the fallen tree and once again call upon the Chinooks. What will happen next? Let's see what happens next. Well, I think this one was in shoots or the last one was in shoots actually. No, this was... Lo look at this one. The logs the engineer monkey said. We can barely see the track and this, this guys is a modified track. The dark monkey and engineer monkey looked to the alchemist who nodded knowing it was their time to shine. Okay, so I guess the idea for this one is to use the alchemist because they can see through walls and you guys know the tree stump doesn't actually look like this there is not that many logs so these logs were actually put here by the devs to kind of make this whole thing a lot more difficult i guess the main popping power for this one are going to have to be the alchemist which can see through everything and this was a change that happened let me just hit play this was a change that happened in last patch in update 37 i think let's just move these guys and by the way if i remember correctly you cannot place towers yes look at this you cannot place towers on top that's, but look at these Chinooks. We can actually abuse this thing with the Chinooks, right? I mean, if we just set a, a command for them to pick up a tower and they're gonna attack and they're going to... Uh, they're gonna blow some balloons back on their way, right? But let's let's get the Millipath Alchemist because that's exactly what, what they're telling us to do. And I should probably be getting something like a crossbow again just because I trust the crossbow a lot. I like this tower a lot. And I should probably... What are we doing next? Unstable Concoction. That's way too expensive. No. See, it's 190, but we have 2,110. I'm gonna get a Sharpshooter actually again. And we're gonna save money for the uh, for the Millipath Alchemist because these guys see through the locks, and that's kind of part of of the way that Ninja Kiwi wants us to beat this quest. So let's just do it like that. Actually, let me upgrade this thing. Let's get the Unstable Concoction. No need to get the Acid Pulse on the thing because you know. But let's do this. Let's move this guy over here. Oh, I accidentally used an ability. But let's move the NG over here so the Chinook walks over there. And he's gonna blow back some of the balloons, including this ceramic. Well, it was a it was a very small blow, but hopefully this is. Can I time the ability? Okay, let's try and time an ability. No, no way. Okay, so let's try this again. Let me get this thing going. Let's get the unstable concoction. I'm not gonna be getting the acid pools just because they're well, they're not gonna get procked. But let's do this actually. Let's try and move these guys and have these helis kind of move all over the the middle path of the track, and they can blow back some balloons and buy us time. Is this guy strong? No, he's not. Let's have this guy strong. There's a lot of lead balloons that need to get taken care of. And that should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And are we doing fine with this one? I mean, maybe I should have the alchemist like here. Or is that a good spot? I think that's a fine spot actually, but let's move the dart. Are we going to make it in time? We absolutely have to move the dart. Let's move the alchemist as well. Did I create a regrow farm up there? What's happening? Maybe a little bit. Let's use an ability. No. Okay, so I gave this one a couple of shots and we need a different strategy. Now, the thing that I was doing was I was kind of trying to upgrade the Alchemist and that's a bad idea. I was trying to get to the middle path of the Alchemist and I feel like maybe we should have focused on a different thing, like maybe the Dart Monkey. So let's do that. Let's actually try and do the same thing because there are no upgrade restrictions as far as I can tell. So why not just go for a crossbow and why not just do the same thing as we did last time? Because a super buffed sharpshooter is extremely strong. Even though they want us to use the Millipad Alchemist, I don't think that that is a good idea, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, because it just makes the game so much harder for no reason. After rounds of struggling against the balloons, the lull intensity was unnerving. The balloons would soon send the Moabs. Okay, so Moab class again incoming. 
and let's see what is what's gonna be happening I think there was a BFB on this one actually let me upgrade this thing now and I guess we can spend some money on the NG what do we want to make this guy maybe a top at NG something like can we even make it to the century expert I'm thinking maybe we can let's do this let's get the pin going I really like the pin if it's the fourth here but actually it's not the better upgrade if you're going for the fifth so let's have where do we want to have these sentries like here is this even a good spot but that's gonna take away some of the out buff so maybe just keep it here I guess maybe here on the right side I don't know man this map is so weird with all these logs like I'm not used to this thing at all but uh, let's get the century expert now and see what happens I think this is a lot better than last time by the way like this thing is just taking care of everything I mean it's not even close last time I think we got stuck on round 7 and honestly I do not even know when round 7 happened <laughs> in this one that's how good these guys are but yeah it's looking like we're gonna it's two more rounds so it depends on what happens on these next rounds we can still move around these towers but i guess the ng is not that good for moving around because we're not gonna have the uh, the sentries down on the new spot but we can always move around the sharpshooter and stuff like that so let's see this is the last round it is a oh that's a lot of more that's six mobs i think and regrow ceramics so we're gonna be able to take care of these guys look at those laser sentries Honestly, this was the alchemist quest, but I feel like maybe the NG was the MVP on this one along with the dark monkey But there it is. That was the second one. So let's play the last one. This one is Quiet temple deep below the ground was a powerful artifact and the bloomsons found a way to get there A series of shoes that eventually led to the heart of the temple. The three rave monkeys were needed once more Let's go. They managed to find a way below ground and the flying skills of the Chinooks got them to the shoots where they would make their stand. But just as they got there, the Chinooks flying skills ran out and two were caught in some vines, crash landing and removing themselves from the fight. So only one Chinook to use in this one. The engineer would have to hold off the first waves of the attack while the one remaining Chinook helped her friends. So basically this guy's already in position and we need to slowly move these guys towards the middle part. So I think, yeah, we can remove these guys. So what's the plan? What's the strongest one that we can buy? Uh, maybe we can get the Sentry Expert or maybe, maybe we do something like this and then we go for... Okay, I was gonna buy the 204 but we don't have the money for that one apparently so hopefully this is enough. I mean maybe we can do some micro with this thing actually. Let's try that. Let's try this and let's have the trap there. Maybe I should have done this at the start actually now that I think about this. Let's move the dart towards the middle and hopefully that's fine. And let's start with the dart again, we're gonna get a crossbow, so let's get like this. And then when the ability comes off cooldown, by the way, the ability cooldowns are a lot faster now, I think, on this one. We need camo, okay, so thankfully I got the, the um, I got the camo detection on this one, the crossbow. But let's, oh no, that's a full ceramic. Okay, so we're gonna have to micro this one, actually. Let's do it like this. Let's have the trap, the trap is gonna, okay, so the trap pops on that ceramic, which means that we need to move it back now on that one we caught it let's use the ability we caught the second one as well another one coming and one more yes we got it i think that's fine i actually think that's fine let me move the alchemist now after this one yes that was good so moving the trap was very nice uh let me get this let me do the same thing so 320 alchemist that is right on the money and i'm gonna need that trap to appear right now there we go thank you let me use the ability to get those lives back it's kind of i mean you know like eight lives plus eight lives is not a lot but it's it it's a lot better so let me get this thing stronger stimulant and we should probably be removing these guys how much money were we getting on this one i forget i think we're going to be able to afford the crossbow master actually if these guys hold on so maybe move the trap go like this is that a good idea i think i should do that actually so let me move the the ng and let's have the trap appear i think the trap should be fine over here yeah, that, that sounds good. But yeah, there we go, 27,000. So there is the crossbow master. I think we can remove these guys now. Let's kind of make everything a little bit easier for us. And the balloons kept coming and each wave was stronger than the last over the hubbub of hubbub. Over the hubbub of battle. <laughs> Interesting. The three monkeys heard the Chinook's radio crackle. I'm nearly there. It was the super monkey. Hold on a little longer. Let's hold on a little longer, guys, for this one. What did I miss? Said the super monkey heroically. He was in tech terror form. Maybe you didn't need me after all. Oh, no, we need you. Uh, and you cannot even interact with him. So not sure if this guy even has camel or anything like that, but we can absolutely use the ability. There's an ability cooldown modifier on this entire quest. So these, all these guys, the, um, the crossbow master cannot deal with them. So, yeah, you're basically going to need to time these, the abilities. And I guess we... Do we wait for them to come in? Yeah, let's just play this thing slowly. Oh no, they're leaking. I have to use it right now. Nope, that was a little bit late. 
Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna move the crossbow master here. And because the cooldowns are so short, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a crossbow cheese, if that's even a thing. Now let's move it like this. Oh, am I messing up by doing this, actually? I think that's fine. I think we did a little bit of damage. We kind of thinned out those those PFBs. So let's... I think we keep it here now and maybe move it back. Maybe not... Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's move it back and let's not pop all of the BFBs at once. Let's use the ability. I think it's going to come off cooldown before they arrive, which they absolutely will. And now it should be a little bit easier, right? So wait for them to come. We, we just need to be patient on this one, and that's about it. And hopefully, you know, these guys hold on. So right about now yes oh look at the crits at the top they barely got it but that's it that was the uh, that was the balloons on shoots you saw the balloons on shoots actually then no i, I thought that was the <laughs> i thought that was the uh, title of the quest but no it's quite temple and as a true story about a dog monkey alchemist and engineer monkey there are statues of them around the world and every thursday glasses of banana juice are raised in their honor and we play odysseys every thursday actually so maybe that's in honor of these three guys so Dark Monkey 003, Alchemist 300, and the 003 NG. And I, I think this is the most important reward. It's a thousand monkey money. That's way too much. But that's it. That's a very cool cool quest that these guys put into the game. Scoop Stall Tail. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different playing these quests. And I hope to see more BT6 lore. And actually, you know, these more difficult quests, I actually enjoy them. So I hope they put more into the game from these guys. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.